I found this generator on the side of the road. If I can get this run, this will be a kick-ass machine. So my goal is to see if I can get it running and making electricity for zero dollars. Crossing my fingers. Here we go. Initially, it doesn't look too bad. It has a nice layer of dust on it, so that means it was probably stored inside. It is missing a few things. It's missing a battery. The pull cord looks like it's been ripped out. This fuse looks like it was smashed in. It is full of a gassy, oily mixture. When I picked it up, the pet cock was in the on position. Ooh, that's not a good idea to leave it stored like that. It has a huge chain attached to it. On the bright side, it came with the key. Whoa. Yeah, it only has 65.3 hours on it. So I think that's pretty low for a generator like this. It doesn't look like it's been tampered with at all, ever. So with the oil crankcase full of gasoline, that kind of makes me think that it could have just been a issue where the owner at some point did not close this pet cock valve then the float seal in the carburetor has a small leak in it which is pretty common and that went and filled up the intake filled up the crankcase with a bunch of gasoline uh, then either they tried to pull the engine to start it and it hydro locked that's when the cord broke and then they just thought okay frick it it's already busted up also, it could have been something to do with this fuse right here uh, controls the fuel solenoid. But, um, and what that does, it'll stop the flow of fuel uh, into the carburetor when the ignition is turned off. It's just an electromagnetic solenoid that closes a cylinder uh, when, by default, by spring. So my first step at this point is I just want to see if the engine will turn over. So I'm going to pop these off. I think I'll pop out the spark plug and then just see if I can turn it around with a wrench. If it's locked up, then we know we got some serious problems. But my hunch is, is that it'll spin. And if it'll spin, there's a chance it might have compression and it might run. And if the engine runs, then there's a chance that the generator might make power. So let's get at it. Let's go ahead and just lose all of these bolts in the gravel. I think that'll make life easier. And check out this. Oh shit. The coil starter freaking works fine. Someone just yanked on until it broke off. Sometimes these springs can break and they're a pain in the butt to fix. But I should be able to just put a twig on there or something. So I can turn this over. And it feels like it has some resistance. I got this jerry rigged. I don't want to go ripping on it. I don't know how long it sat. Since I got the spark plug out, I'm just going to shoot some PB blaster down to the end of the hole in the cylinder. Uh, and I'm going to drain the oil out. I don't want to put some fresh oil in something in case there's things junk. So luckily I just did an oil change on my vehicle. And that oil only had about 5,000 miles on it. So it seems like it'd be perfect. It's even the same grade that Briggs & Stratton recommends, but I don't know if they'd approve of me putting in synthetic oil. Who knows? Briggs & Stratton, if you're out there, comment below. All right, here's a short plug. Pull that sucker off. What is that? You guys, bam. Okay, there we go. 13 sixteenths it is. Crack that loose. And it felt like a nice factory torque you put on a spark plug. 
not some gorilla hanging on the wrench. So that makes me think that this plug has probably not even been pulled before. Which is... Okay, yeah, I mean, it looks fouled up, for sure. It smells like straight-up gasoline, but that sucker should fire. Oh, gosh. Holy shit, that was too tight. Yep, so maybe they changed the oil once or something. Maybe they changed it after it broke in. It's got such low miles. Pop that loose right quick. And that is so much gasoline. I'm gonna try to keep it from making a mess. Don't want oily gas getting into the water table. And holy mackerel, look how thin that is. Do I feel lucky enough to put a whole quart of fresh, clean oil into this motor? I don't know if no will start. Hmm. Look at that. Mm. Oh, shit. There we go. Flushing out the bottom. Here we go. All right. Yeah, I forgot to put the drain plug back on purpose. Drain plug is in. Drain plugs don't gotta be that tight, guys. All right. All right, so we're gonna eyeball a quart. What do you think? Say when, guys, in the comments, huh? Huh. I guess in the hatches, I guess that's good. I don't know. Whatever. I'm going to turn the ignition to the run position. And I got this cord. Woo! Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's a nice spark. And I can really feel that cylinder pumping. Huh, that looks good. dedicated that I went and I got my truck battery hooked it up to these jumper cables here and let's see what happens here we go beautiful make sure to lose these little nuts any starting fluid that works better than the brake clean. So, the other thing I'll do is I'll take this fucker off and... So, let's see. It's a little tricky. <laughs> yeah! It started uh, without taking the carbon part, but I already took it off. I guess maybe some brake clean is more flammable than others. So, hell yeah. I like that. Yeah, so I just cracked this loose. It's like a metric. It's hard to know when what's metric and what's standard. You know, it's an American quote-unquote company yeah don't look too bad looks like it's pretty clean in there let's see I'm looking at this little float valve trying to see if I can get a good angle on it see what it's doing this way to test a fuel valve fuel valve so when it's down like that it should it thinks the bowl is empty in um, is empty, so it should be open, but when the fuel, um, floats up this little float, it's full and it should close. So I'm just gonna... Oh, 
Yep, that's totally clogged up. Okay. So I'm just going to take out this pin. Set it very carefully where it won't get ruined. And then this will come out and the float valve will be hanging there. Set that aside. And see if this fuel should spray out there. Okay, that looks good. Look at all that little that pitting. That's probably why it wasn't moving. This little sucker out is very carefully. <laughs> and I'm just gonna kinda feel it, how it fits in there. It's supposed to slide freely, but oh yeah, it's all bound up. Set the spring aside. Yeah, it's all bound up. So, yeah, I was kind of right with my prediction. This isn't supposed to hold back gasoline while it's being stored. But look at that, that's really messed up. So I don't know how I'm going to clean that. Maybe just a teeny, teeny little delicate wire brush and just like clean it up just enough so that it'll slide in and out of that bore freely. And then that little, that little tip looks good though. This ring... This ring doesn't look very good either, but it, hopefully I can just get this running. See if it makes electricity, and then if that works, then I'll treat this thing to all the new parts it needs. There it is. I got to rub down a little bit. I got these great little files. These are really actually for electrical stuff, but they're terminal cleaners. You wouldn't believe how much they cost for little tiny tweezers, but they're worth every penny. Yeah, slide's much nicer now. I'm gonna set this sucker down. Get this pin in. Now. Yeah, now I can, I can see it. Now I can see it down, moves up, it closes down, up. So that fuse that was busted is part of this really simple circuit that controls this. This is a fuel shutoff solenoid. So it has a spring in it where it's defaulted, it's pushed up so that fuel from the uh, gas tank can't flow down and flood the carburetor. Right, these go bad pretty frequently and it can, if it gets stuck down, it can make the engine flood or it won't run if it's stuck in the up position. But it's really easy to test. It works, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this fucker flush. I mean, these, hopefully these, woo! Still got all the original gas in it, but, I just want to kind of see if it runs with that old gas. So here we go. Put on the choke. Oops. Gotta turn on the fuel. Let's give it a second to trickle in to the carburetor. choke all the way on.
Holy mackerel, I am very pleased. Zero dollars in, running a working generator. The light doesn't draw a lot of power. So there still could be something wrong, I don't know. But probably not. It's probably good to go. I'm very excited.